Here's how it went from not knowing what to post to posting consistently without overthinking. The first thing you would like to do is to have a note where you are going to constantly add ideas to it. If you are a content creator, you know that some days you are full of ideas and then there are some other days in which you need to create a piece of content and you are blanked. You have no idea where to start, what to write about and then is chaos. This is where this list becomes something very valuable and if you are at this stage where you are blocked and you don't know what to post about, you're gonna open this note and start writing those questions your audience asks you all the time. These are already content ideas. Some other content ideas you can write in this list would be tips or pieces of information that will help your audience solve a particular problem. Once you have at least five ideas, you're gonna go to Canva and create a content calendar. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do so, but you need to understand why this is important. Once you have your content calendar, you will stop improvising, which also means you'll stop stressing about your content. You will stop wondering, what do I need to post about? What's that content idea I need for the next video or the next post? Everything will be laid out in there and it will make it easier for you to also batch create these contents. So let's start creating this content calendar. You're going to go to canva.com. You are probably going to land on the templates section. If you are not there, simply click here and then we are going to create a Canva sheet. You're going to find this icon and clicking here and this will take you to create a new document which will take you directly to the editor. From here, you have two different options. You can use a template and if you have a Canva Pro account, I do suggest you use this template right here. It says social media calendar. You can search it with these keywords and then apply it to your sheet. But I actually believe it is pretty important for you to understand all of the features that you can use here in Canva Sheets in order to make this content calendar work for you. So we're going to create one from scratch. The first thing is that that we are going to create a header to add the title of our content calendar. And personally, I like to use one sheet, one page for each month of the year. So what I'm going to do is to select the first row, right click, and I'm going to select merge cells. I'm going to increase the size of this row and I'm also going to add a color to it. So let's go black, why not? And then I could either add the text, my text in here. So let's say January, it is in black. So let me add a color, maybe yellow. And then you can change the font, change the size, and really play around with it so it fits your brand. So let me use this font in here. And I think I'm actually going for a green color this time just to make it a little bit different. You can add text to your sheet like so, or you can also add a text box. So you can go to text, add a text box, and you're gonna follow exactly the same steps, you know, like writing your text, changing the font, the colors, the size, and then placing this text box on top. And I will do so if you want to have more control on where you want to place your text box. Now we're going to work on row number two where we are going to name each of the columns on this content calendar. So I'm going to add a color to these rows and I'm going to start naming these columns. You can use the same examples that I'm going to give you but of course you can customize it so it really fits your needs. I do recommend you have a published date. In our case we are two different content creators creating content for the same channel so I'm going to have a column for the creator that is assigned to each of these content ideas. I'm going to write the title or the idea of this piece of content, the status. In our case, we work with three different video editors, so we are going to create a column to assign this to each
page of this video editor. Then we're going to add a column to link the Dropbox file where we upload all of our raw files. And then we can also have a column for our visuals. These can be thumbnails or maybe some other visuals that we want to use on our video editing. So I believe with something like this, you can already start. But if you want to have an additional column, of course, you can add it here to the right. I'm going to select the other column. So I'm selecting this column, going to the end and I'm holding shift and clicking on set. Now I'm going to right click and delete columns. Perfect. I actually like to have this clean look on my content calendar so I don't feel overwhelmed. So I'm doing exactly the same process for these rows and I'm going to increase the size of this content calendar. Now I'm going to show you the most important features you need to know in order to make this content calendar work for you in Canva. I suppose that if you are watching this tutorial, you are a content creator, maybe a beginner content creator, or you want to start a content business. Well, we actually just launched a membership where we show you, we teach you everything that we have learned in the last eight years with our own content business. We're going to show you our workflows and the systems that allow us to work from anywhere and make a sustainable income. If that sounds like something you need, make sure to check the link in the description. The first one is that we want to work with dates and we don't want to simply, you know, like write a text like 12th of January. This is okay, but it's not the best way to do it. So you're going to select the cell, go to actions, and then from here, go down until you see this option that says date. And from here, you'll be able to click on this label and add a particular date. So let's say that you want to publish this piece of content on the 3rd of February. You're going to do it like so. And then if you want to continue populating this content calendar, you will do exactly the same steps. Go to actions, go to dates, and then add the other dates in here. Another easy way it will be to simply select the cell ctrl c and then come to the next cell and ctrl v and then simply select the next date I really like having this date feature because as you can see, we have a little overview of the calendar and it avoids that I get confused with dates because I can clearly see them here. Okay, so let's see, we are working in February, so I need to change the title all caps and then the creator you're going to go again to actions go down and then from here select mention this will work if the person that you want to mention is actually on your team so in this case it is Ronnie and me the ones who create content in this channel so i'm gonna assign this content to Ronnie and then the next one i'm going to assign it to me and then i simply going to select these two cells ctrl c and and control V. Now from here we're going to start adding our content ideas or you can also even go further and add the exact title you want to use on that piece of content. Next column is status. For this, we are going to create a drop down. So let's go to actions, scroll down until you see the drop down option. From here, you have some presets. So you can add a drop down that says yes, no, high, medium, low, status, approval. So you can actually add status or approval. It will depend if you are working by yourself or if you are working with a team. In this case, because we are seven in our team, I'm going to go for approval and it really doesn't matter which option you choose because you will be able to customize it later. So let me see again the options. I see not set, approved, decline, feedback, provided, in review, needs review. Okay, perfect. So I'm actually going to customize this list. So you see that next to each option, we have a pencil that says edit, and then you have the color tool to add a color to each of these options. So I'm going to add or change the name here to be filmed that means that we have the idea ready but we haven't filmed anything then we can actually move this one up and say that we actually
actually already filmed the content. We can change the emoji here and add a camera. Once the video is filmed, it's going to be sent as draft. So draft sent. That means that we need to review it. And then it is most of the times approved. So yeah, draft sent. And then we will know if the draft that was sent, it was approved or not. Okay, so we have all of these options here. Most probably when you are working on this content calendar, it will be all of these ideas to be filmed or to be designed. So I'm going to copy and paste it in all of these cells. Now under video editor, I know that this is very unique to us. We work with three different video editors. So you can also follow exactly the same process as tagging them like I did it here. Or if you want, you can also create a custom drop down. So you can go here, create your drop down and then see you have three options. So this is perfect because I can add here the names of our editors. You can also change the colors if you want, and then you will know who is actually editing each of these videos. Now, let me show you how to add a link in Canva. There is a special feature that I want you to use instead of simply pasting a link in here. You're going to go to actions and then go down and use this feature. You see that there is a label creator and then you can enter your link from here and hit done. This will make your content calendar more visually appealing and less overwhelming believe me you would like to copy and paste this feature on all of the cells that you have below now visuals and this is actually one of my favorite features in canva sheets this was the reason why i actually made the shift from google sheets to canva sheets in terms of our content calendar from here, you're going again to actions and this time you are going to add a Canva design because most probably, and I believe maybe, hopefully most of you will be creating your visuals in Canva. So what you would like to do in here is to search for the visual you already created and link it in here. So just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to link here the visual for our vision board video. Once you find your design, you are simply going to click and it will be automatically linked to your cell. And then from here, what I love about this feature is that every time that you click on this link, you will have a little preview and it will be so much easier to, you know, like identify which piece of content we are talking about or which piece of content we linked in here. And then if you want to open that particular document, simply click on this link right here. Now, of course, you can spend more time here on your content calendar to make it even more beautiful you know play around with the fonts you are using canva so use the library use the element library and let me show you here a trick to make your content calendar even more beautiful i do suggest that you actually add colors to your drop downs so we already saw this you can add here different colors so let's try a purple in here change all on this one we're gonna use an orange change all and in here let's use a blue color and then change all you see that it actually starts to look even better and then of course the other drop downs they will have colors depending on the status and now let me show you how to add elements to your content calendar you're gonna go to elements and now here it is something important you need to know because we are working with sheets we need to do an extra extra step in order for us to be able to position the element where we want it to go. So let me go to graphics and let's go here, see this magic recommendations. So let me show you here an example. If I wanted to bring this rocket on this section of the sheet, if I were to click like any other Canva document, the element is not, you know, placed on top of the sheet. It actually went inside this cell. So my trick is to select this dot for us to have the whole sheet selected and then click on your element. This will bring the element over the cell
else and like so you can place it whatever you need now another trick is that if you are moving your element and it actually goes again and again into a cell what you would like to do is to press control at the same time as you are moving your elements Remember that we just launched a membership for content creators and it is full of information that you are going to love and that is going to be super useful for your content business. And I'm leaving here on screen another tutorial I believe you are going to find valuable as well. I think that's it for today's video and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye!